If the Transformers planet Cybertron is restored in the last night, there's no reason to stay on Earth. What is up, El Fanzos? It's Alfonso Peterman here today, and welcome to another episode of my approaching TF5 series. This is simply a series where I discuss all the facts and rumors in regards to the upcoming Transformers The Last Night movie. This is episode number 44, and today we're going to be discussing the Bumblebee spin-off movie, something we're going to be talking about in the near future, but not right now because, the, you know, The Last Night is, hasn't even come out yet. But once The Last Night comes out and a couple months pass, we're going to start discussing Transformers. Transformers, the Bumblebee spin-off movie. But today, in specific detail, we're going to be discussing the rumors and the things that have been confirmed so far about the film. There are some crazy things going around about the Bumblebee spin-off. And some I hope are true, some I hope are not true. There's not much that has been confirmed about the spin-off. So a lot of rumors are being going all over the place. But today, we're going to talk about the potential plot. We're going to talk about what has been established and confirmed by official sources. It's going to be really, really fantastic. It's going to be really, really epic. So without further ado, let's begin. So I've been doing some research about this because I was curious, you know, how, how is this movie going to be? What's, what's the plot going to be like? How is Bumblebee going to be the center character? Are there going to be any other characters? Or will it be just him? I just had a lot of questions, so I did some very extensive research. It took me a lot of hours to find some things because, like I said, there's not much confirmed about this movie. You know, people are talking about The Last Night. Nobody's talking about the spinoff as much. But we're going to talk about the Bumblebee spinoff because the Bumblebee spinoff is something that is coming in the very near future as near as next year. So we're not that far off from the spinoff. So according to sources, according to official sources, when I say official sources, I mean either a credible news source or the actual cast and crew, one of the members actually revealed something. That's what I mean when I say official sources. And according to one of those sources, which this is a spoiler, so I, I'm gonna warn you in advance, this is a spoiler. Just letting you know, I'm gonna throw it out there. You're gonna get spoiled if you continue to watch. But according to the spoiler, Bumblebee lives in the last night. Bumblebee is not killed. He may be injured, he may die temporarily, but he will, like at the end of the movie, Bumblebee will be living. That has been confirmed by official sources. I think it was Akiva Gozman, or I think it was a new source. I have all my notes together and I don't put the sources. I need to start putting the sources where did I get each point from. But Bumblebee will live on in Transformers The Last Night. And that is going to carry him into the spinoff movie in 2018, which is next year. Another thing that has been confirmed, according to sources and according to the spoilers, the Bumblebee spin-off movie will not be a flashback movie. I've heard some people say, which was a good idea, I've heard some people say that like, the entire spin-off is really just going back into history and like telling the story of Bumblebee and how he came up to where he is. I think The Last Night might do that. I think The Last Night is going to lay the foundation for everybody, each character, and say how they came to be who they were, and what happened to them in the past. The Bumblebee spinoff is not going to be a flashback and discuss the things of the past. The Bumblebee spinoff will be a present day movie. Okay, it's going to be a continuation of The Last Night. Okay, it's going to be like a chronological. Now, even though it's not a flashback movie, it may still have some flashback scenes. Most of the Transformers movies have some form of flashback scene. And most of the flashback scenes, if you've noticed, in the Transformers movies are first premiered in the very beginning, in the intro. In the first movie, they had the Allspark, that's a flashback. That shows how it got to Earth. Second movie, Revenge of the Fallen, had Earth and the primitive humans. So that tells you how the Fallen and how the Transformers interacted with humans back then in the ancient times. Dark of the Moon. That was literally <laughs> Cybertron. That was the Battle of Cybertron. And that pretty much showed you where the battle kind of began and where everything started. Age of Extinction, it started off with the dinosaurs and with the creators and the destruction and, and the seeds. So, you know, it, it's gonna, it might have some flashback scenes, but the movie itself, the plot, will be placed in present day, which is a continuation of Transformers The Last Night. According to sources I've seen, that has been confirmed, so. <laughs> there you go. 
Now, according to another official source, which is, this one is Lorenzo Di Buenaventura. He is the one that's working on The Last Night. He said that, and I quote, Transformers 5 will be directly related to the spin-off. That is what he said. So from that, we can sort of almost make the conclusion that the spin-off is going to be a continuation from the last night. It's going to be directly related. Not indirectly, it's not going to reference the last night. It's going to be literally linked to the last night. So my theory, because of the way he said that, because they're so directly related and the plots are probably going to be intertwined, it's possible, it's plausible that Transformers The Last Night is going to be the foundation. Because, again, I've, I've, I've said it before and it has been confirmed that The Last Night is going to show a lot of history. There's going to be a lot of history involved, a lot of origins involved in the movie's plot. So it doesn't like surprise me that it's going to lay the foundation because it's telling you where all the Transformers came from. It's going all the way up to the creator. So I feel that Transformers The Last Night is going to lay a foundation in terms of the plot for the Bumblebee spinoff movie based on what Lorenzo said. Another thing that I found is really, really cool and is someone that we can actually confirm for the movie so far. Christina Hudson is going to be the one to write the script for the Bumblebee spinoff movie. No, it doesn't have a subtitle yet, but it's the spinoff movie, um, and she's gonna be writing the script. So keep an eye out for her because she's gonna be seen next year, especially. Now, another thing I wanted to kind of establish is that because this is a Bumblebee spinoff movie, the entire movie is going to be based on him, on Bumblebee. So we may not see other characters as much. We may see other characters, but the movie is going to focus on Bumblebee. He's the focal point. It's about him. Kind of how The Last Night focuses on Optimus Prime and how he went from good to evil and his interaction with the creators and then his interaction with the Autobots on Earth. It's kind of really about him, you know? So the Bumblebee spinoff is going to do that. It's going to focus on him. You may see some characters, but just expect to see mainly him. Another thing that a new source, it was a new source that said this, is that a never before story of Bumblebee will be told. So we can confirm there that we're gonna see something that we've never seen before. We're gonna understand a part of Bumblebee that we've never understood before. We're gonna see Bumblebee in depth. You know, we always see him as the, the, the little cool scout that's funny sometimes and he can be heroic other times. You know, we see him as the scout that just jumps into the battle and just jumps right into the mix, but we're going to get to know him, basically. We're going to have a deeper understanding of who he is. Now, another thing I wanted to point out, because, again, this is a spinoff for Bumblebee. The Bumblebee spinoff movie, possibly, and most likely, I mean, really, <laughs> it's most likely going to tell how did Bumblebee lose his voice. That is something that is pretty much his trademark, right? He, he talks from his radio. You know, he doesn't have a voice. His voice was damaged in battle, according to Ratchet. We're gonna understand what happened. Now, I know The Last Night is gonna be a foundational movie. So I'm not sure if The Last Night is gonna lay the foundation in how Bumblebee lost his voice, or if the spinoff will do it. But I know it's either in The Last Night or the spinoff. I'm gonna probably say The Last Night, because again, it focuses on origin. And because it's going to go in history, I think it's going to reveal how did he lose his voice. And I think he's going to gain his voice at some point between The Last Night and the spinoff. Because if the movie's all about him, he has to have some form of a voice. You know, it's going to be really weird to have him as the main character and he can't even speak without using a radio. It's going to be a really interesting dialogue and I don't think it's something that the writers are going to do. So I believe Bumblebee is going to gain his voice in the near future. Whether it be in The Last Night, if, if he defeats Optimus and he becomes Goldbug, and because his body upgraded, his vocal processors were upgraded, and he's able to speak, or in the Bumblebee spin-off movie. Now, we've established those points, but I wanted to get at something pretty interesting, and I wanted to talk about the Bumblebee movie spin-off. It most likely might be set 
on Cybertron. When we look at The Last Knight and what we know so far about The Last Knight, according to what Lorenzo Bonaventura said, it's going to be directly related. It's, it might be a continuation. If that's the case, if, if, if The Last Knight is in fact going to lay the foundation for the spinoff, well, if the plot for The Last Knight is all about restoring Cybertron, what happens when they restore Cybertron? They go back to Cybertron. If the Transformers planet Cybertron is restored in The Last Knight, there's no reason to stay on Earth. I believe the Autobots are going back home. So the spinoff is going to make a little bit more sense because it's going to start on Cybertron, which is where they left off in the last night. That's my theories. Not much to confirm because we are still early, but I just wanted to announce those things that have been confirmed and announce some of the things that has been spoken about the movie by official sources and a lot of news sources combined so that is all i wanted to talk about today guys if you enjoyed this video drop a like i really appreciate it if you haven't subscribed to me yet please do so i'm trying to get to 3k if you have some let me know put in the comment section below make sure you follow all my social medias in the description box below thank you guys for watching my name is alfonso and i will see you in my next video peace out remember anthony hopkins said it he said 100 billion trillion planets in the cosmos and he said you want to know don't you why they keep coming here that's also very interesting he said out of all the 100 billion and trillion planets there's so many planets that the septicons can use to live on but they keep coming here they keep coming to earth why for what you know what are they looking for what is so special about earth <laughs> i love this man i love this